Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.7.9 and Eagle Dynamics FA-18C Hornet Module. Welcome to tutorial 4, Air-to-Air -air Radar WVR Modes. So, uh, WVR, within visual range. This is uh, basically a follow-on to my previous tutorial on the BVR modes. Uh, these are uh, modes in the Hornet, which are called ACM, which is Air Combat Maneuvering Radar Modes. They're designed to be used once, you're in with, uh, once you are within visual range uh, with your uh, opponent, and they are designed to be highly automatic. So the idea being that you can very quickly enter these modes once you've merged or you're in a dogfight. The radar will automatically lock targets for you based on certain criteria, and you can very quickly employ your weapons. Uh, the Hornet has four of these ACM modes. There is GACQ, which is Gun Acquisition Mode, only usable with the cannon. Uh, BST, which is Boresight Mode, very similar to the mode found in the F-16. VACQ, which is Vertical Acquisition Mode, um, very similar again to a mode that you'll find in the F-16, and WACQ, which is the Wide Acquisition Mode. This is sort of a HUD scan, really, although it's a bit bigger than the HUD. Um, and it has the option to slew it as well, so you can use it in some interesting ways, which is pretty cool. Um, WACQ actually gets around one of the problems that traditional HUD scan uh, automatic lock modes have in that you can slew it up and down and so you actually have the ability to utilize it against targets who are not at the same altitude as you which is pretty damn cool. So I'm going to go through each of these in turn and demonstrate how they are used. Um, the initial thing that I'll show actually is just how to get the aircraft set up for this. So without any further ado let's jump into the office, let's uh, bring the aircraft out of pause I've got a bunch of targets out in front of me, as we've had in the past uh, in the radar missions. And as I demonstrated before, the absolute quickest and easiest way to get set up and ready to use your uh, aircraft in air-to-air -air mode is using the weapon select switch. So I can push my weapon select switch forward and I get gun. I can push it aft and I get the AIM-9X. I can push it left and I would get the Sparrow if I had any loaded, I don't. I push it right and I get the AMRAM. Uh, we're going to go aft and take the Sidewinder for today. Uh, I'm going to make sure that my helmet mounted display is off for this demonstration because some of these ACM modes operate slightly differently when you have the helmet mounted sight enabled and we don't want to cover that today. So while you're in air to air mode, if you push sensor select switch forward, the aircraft will immediately go into ACM mode. So let me actually break that lock. And I'm going to pause for just a moment. The aircraft will immediately go into ACM modes. We can tell that because on the radar display, ACM is boxed and we have the option to return to scan uh, as we'd normally have when we're in STT. So once you've pushed sensor select switch forward, you're in ACM mode and then all of the other sensor select uh, switch directions now change the ACM mode. To exit ACM mode, you can either click return to scan or you can press nose wheel steering uh, and that will return you back to a normal range while scan mode and the sensor select switch will operate normally. So the sensor select switch effectively has two modes. It has the normal mode and it has ACM mode. Sensor select switch is now in ACM mode and in ACM mode, uh, you default to bore sight. So you'll see that uh, enunciated on the, the HUD here, we have a dashed line uh, which is the, the actual boresight scan, and we have the seeker head for our Sidewinder missile. Uh, if we push aft on the sensor select switch, we'll go into vertical scan, and if we push it to the left, we'll get wide area acquisition. So let's bring it out of pause. We're in boresight, and I've got targets in front of me. If I bring my nose down and put one of those targets in the circle, there we go. We have an automatic lock, and we're immediately in STT and the aircraft has uh, done an IFF, this target is confirmed hostile, so I could now engage this target. Let's bring my nose up, tap nose wheel steering, and we're back to bore sight. I'm now gonna push left on the sensor select switch, and I have wide area acquisition, and it kind of, it, in wide area acquisition, what it's doing, I'm gonna pause again so we get rid of that noise. Uh, it, bore sight mode, by the way, is uh, kind of a longer range ACM mode. It scans out to 10 nautical miles. 
Uh, wide area acquisition also scans out to 10 nautical miles uh, at maximum. And uh, by default, wide area acquisition is uh, scanning an area 60 degrees in azimuth, uh, minus nine to plus six in pitch. So it is this kind of box. Uh, let me show you another little trick that we've got with that mode. I'm actually going to bring us off to the right. I'm going to break that lock. And I'm going to make sure that we're back in wide area acquisition again. There we go. So you'll notice wide area acquisition is enunciated here. Oh, actually, we just got a lock just as I hit the pause. Let's, uh, let's break that again and go back into wide area acquisition. Note that when you're in uh, ACM modes, if you hit the nose wheel steering to unlock, it immediately brings you out of ACM, so you then need to push sensor slight switch forward again. We have this box. This is this is a representation of the scan volume. Note that it is stabilized in roll. I think it's stabilized in pitch as well. Yeah, it's stabilized in pitch as well. So you, you'll you'll see that that representation moves around. If I push in my TDC, I then get some new symbology. This is the slewed wide area acquisition. So we now have check marks in the pitch area and we can also push the box to the left and right. These pitch marks uh, denote elevation difference. So the first check mark here on, on the pitch bar uh, denotes 15,000 feet below. Next one is 30,000 feet below. You also have the ability to scan 15,000 feet above, 30,000 feet above. Uh, and if I uh, come out of pause again and I start moving the TDC, you'll see that we can actually move this box significantly above and below that. It is a uh, it is a 60, uh, 60 degrees azimuth and then quite a few degrees up and down. So what I'm going to do, I know these targets are off to my left, I'm going to slew my box as far left as I can. It's still stabilised in roll and I'm going to slowly roll myself left and this means that I'm kind of looking ahead into my turn and I should actually pick them up quicker than I would otherwise. You can also see confirmed on the radar display the scan was bouncing around on the left. And there we go. I actually I picked up that lock right on the edge of uh, the scan. Going to hit nose wheel steering and break that scan again. Sensor select switch forward. I'm in bore sight. And I'm going to push left to go back into wide area acquisition. Actually, I'm going to go aft. And I'm in vertical. Now this is perfect for when you're in the turning fight. Uh, the vertical one, it's only scanning 16 degrees width, or 16 degrees azimuth, but it's scanning down to negative 13 degrees and up to positive 46. So I'm in a turning fight. I roll myself over and I pull back. I should be looking quite far ahead into the turn and I should get a lock nice and early. Let's see if I can actually pick these guys up. Now, the problem is the vertical acquisition mode is only operating out to five nautical miles. Let me see, where are these guys just now? They're kind of north of me just now. That's cool. Going to roll over and start coming around. It may be the case that they're outside of the, the five mile scan, so I maybe won't actually auto-lock them here. Oh, I got bap bap, so they must be somewhere out here. Let's uh, Let's pop it back into wide area and get get that range down a little bit. Yeah, I think they've decided to run. I've scared them. <laughs> That's fair enough. Let's get closer and then I'll demonstrate the wide area acquisition. There he is. There's one just inside 10 miles, so just inside the maximum range. And they are actually running. I've definitely spooked them now. Um, now, there is a final mode that we have. I'm going to come out of the ACM modes entirely. And this mode is automatically engaged whenever you select the gun. So if I push sensor select switch forward, I'm in gun, and you can see it confirms gun here, and I'm in ACM. Gun mode is a special mode. It automatically scans out to five nautical miles within this dotted circle. So really, it's a HUD scan, uh, and this mode is only usable with the gun. So you can see I now have visual on these targets. I'm going to continue inbound, and once I'm within five nautical miles, I should pick up the lock. Uh, and those are all of the modes, and that is everything you can do with them. All of these modes are designed to achieve an STT and to immediately do an IFF query. So pretty useful in the dogfight. Uh, I'm probably, it's probably going to take quite a long time to catch up with these guys now, so I might not actually wait for this. But all that's going to happen is I'm going to get an STT on the closest target. Oh, I just did. And I'm going to get my gun symbology. Now, of course, we haven't um, 
covered the employment of the gun. We'll be doing that in a future tutorial. But I am now in a position to immediately engage this target with the gun. If I hit nose wheel steering, it drops the lock, but it puts me back into gun mode. The only way to get out of this mode and actually employ a different weapon is to push the weapon select key in a different direction. So if I push it forward again and come back into gun, I'm there, I get an automatic lock, I'm in gun acquisition, and I'm ready to engage this target with guns. Very difficult to do this, of course, without head tracking. So, uh, I'm going to hit nose wheel steering. I'm going to come out of air to air mode, and the aircraft is now completely back to normal. So, those are all of the different modes. I've demonstrated gun acquisition, bore sight, vertical acquisition, and wide acquisition modes. These are the ACM modes, the air combat maneuvering modes. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you all next time.